Moving on to the next question, we have to evaluate this expression here. So notice how we have some absolute values to deal with. So the absolute values, first thing you want to do is you want to figure out any algebra within the absolute values. So you want to treat them like brackets. So if there's only a single value in the absolute value like here, this negative 72, if a value is negative, we turn it into positive. If it's positive, we keep it positive. And then if there are multiple values within a absolute value, we have to evaluate them. Okay, so this absolute value of negative 72, that would become positive 72. We would still be dividing it by negative 8. We have this minus 3 in front. And then we evaluate this expression within the absolute value. 11 minus 18 gives us negative 7. Okay, now 72 divided by negative 8, that gives us negative 9. We still have this minus 3 here. And then this absolute value of negative 7, what happens? This negative 7 turns into a positive 7. And then we have negative 9. Uh, negative 3 times 7 gives us negative 21. Negative 9 minus 21 gives us negative 30. So that there is the answer to that question. So just be careful with your bed mass um, and make sure that you are dealing with all the absolute values first. Change them all into positive single values and then it just becomes like a regular expression you end up getting negative 30. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.